I'm John Keister at Vulcaning Heritage Farm, and we're here today with our Farm to Table series. Uh, today is all about eggs. We're cooking uh, eggs from the farm, and the series is all about simple foods uh, raised here on the farm and how to prepare them. Uh, the different classes that we have this year uh, are, are asparagus, honey, eggs, and potatoes, and we teach you how to take these simple ingredients and turn them into delicious foods. Uh, the two dishes that we're going to do are scrambled eggs and a hard boiled egg. Very simple, obviously. Um, I, can, I can tell you anything that you would like to know about eggs in the process of doing this. <laughs> so we'll talk. We are using our eggs. These are from the farm here. Um, you all get to take a half dozen eggs home with you as part of the class. Yeah. So that's what you get. It's like a drug deal, you know, the first one's free, <laughs> and then they're two dollars a half dozen from then on when you come back. So it's, uh, uh, but you, you, you will get to take your own adorable little half dozen carbon eggs home with you. You start with cold water, because obviously if you put an egg in hot boiling water, it cracks. Um, so you can't do that. You can't cheat to try to speed it up. Um, this, is the, this is your one suggestion, though. You have to use old eggs. If you use fresh eggs, they boil fine, but they're a pain to, to peel. Yeah. Put them in cold water. <laughs> and we bring it up to a boil. And then once it boils, we uh, cover it and take it off the heat. And you let it set for between 12 and 15 minutes, depending on how you like your egg and variations in your cooking pot and things like that. Um, with ours, we'll go 15 minutes. So, um, you got to kind of practice your own hard boiled egg to get them perfect because, like I said, it depends on your pot, how much heat it holds, how big the pot is, how many eggs you have in it. So, you kind of have to get a system down. But, have you ever seen the green ring? You can slice a hard boiled egg and it has the green ring around the outside. That means it's overcooked. You know what the difference between a brown egg and a white egg is? Nothing. No, nothing. 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 <laughs> you said that. You told us already. I right. remember. So egg color is uh, is breed specific in chickens. So some breeds of chickens lay brown eggs, and some breeds of chickens lay white eggs, and some breeds of chicken lay spotted eggs, and some of them lay blue eggs. Okay, and all kinds of different variations. Um, it, but it, it does not have anything to do with the quality of the egg. It's just the type. But the breed that lays white eggs is about five times more prolific than the other ones. Egg size is very hard to determine. Um, uh, it has to do with the age. So chickens start laying little eggs. They're called pullet eggs. They're little tiny, like the size of a robin egg. And they get a little bigger pretty quickly. They jump up in size. But the older the chicken, typically the bigger the egg. Okay. So let's make some scrambled eggs. Um, so I cracked six eggs in there. Okay, my egg scrambled egg recipe is very simple. Eggs need some sort of fat to go with them. Okay, if they don't have fat, they'll be flat, they'll be rubbery, and they'll taste like my mom's eggs because she used to put water in them. Water evaporates, and what you're left with is a terrible egg. Don't do that. That's bad. Um, <laughs> they need some sort of fat. I don't care what it is. Um, I like dairy products. I think that's the way to go. I would, I would not get into too weird a thing with vegetable oils and things like that. But dairy products, pretty safe. Um, at home, I typically use two percent milk because that's what's in the refrigerator. Um, you can use skim milk. You can use two percent milk. You can use whole milk. You can use half and half. You can use heavy whipping cream. The higher the fat content, the higher up the chain on that goes, the fluffier the eggs will be. But you can add just a little, or you can add a, a lot. If you add too much, what happens is, is the um, once you get past a certain point, your eggs will break, and cream will run out of them. So we put some sort of fat in there, and then we whip. I'm using a fork. I'm using a fork. Yeah, you can use a whisk. You can use a fork. You can use two forks. I, it doesn't. You can use a blender. You can use the little uh, immersion blender things. Those are wonderful. I just don't like washing them, but they're awesome. Yeah. But what you're trying to do is incorporate air. What you're looking for are these big giant bubbles. Okay. That's how you know when you got air in. Okay. Big giant bubbles. You got to have kind of a lifting motion to your 
to your weapon. You can make eggs in any kind of skillet that you have. Um, it does not affect the egg so much as it affects how hard it is to wash the skillet afterwards, okay? <laughs> My mom never owned a, uh, there we go, that's a rolling boil. Oh, you need a rolling boil before you... Yep, there's a doubling. Oh, like that. Like that. Yeah, what's this, uh, what's this white foam? Something cool. No, it's just, just stuff that came up. So we're going to do that and we're going to cover it. You don't have to cover it when it's boiling, by the way. I do that because my thing isn't very hot. So just got to get it boiling. Yeah. Yeah. boiling. And then you cover it and you take it off. And we are ready at 11 o'clock. So we're going to let this set about 14 minutes. Here's the other part of my recipe. Eggs, cream, and butter. <coughs> about as much as you would need to butter your toast. And you put that on there, you let it melt, and in this case we're going to let it get pretty hot so it cools down. You don't need your temperature real high to do eggs. It doesn't have to be on high. Um, usually medium-ish is about where you are. Okay, so you put that in. I usually would not want the skillet quite that hot where you hear that sound, but on, in this one I know you have to do that. That's easy at the front. Yeah, that's what you don't want, is you don't want them, if they're making that sound all the time, it's too hot. Uh, and then we got to push. <laughs> push your eggs. One of you guys should really have to do this. I know you love watching the um, So I start in the middle, go down the middle, and then I go one side. I don't know if this is important. Okay. Go down the other side. And then, because this is not very hot, I'm going to let it set a little bit, so we can a little bit. But. All you're looking for is when you push your spatula through the middle, you get these things. That's perfect. That's what you want. You want them to roll up in that kind of goopy brain-like kind of thing. Like that. Those eggs are done. So how can I do that salt and pepper? That's what I was going to ask about seasoning. I will. I will. Oh. Coming. You don't, you don't need to do it in the pan. Okay. Oh, okay. okay. All right. We are here at the All About Eggs class. Uh, we just finished up. And what did you think about the class? I thought it was really interesting, very informative. Um, a lot of information that was, that was misinformation out there that you were able to, especially about storage life and shelf life on eggs and how eggs, the difference between the brown eggs and the white eggs, that there is no difference. It's just right. the chicken. Just the chicken. And chicken, yeah. and how to preserve eggs if you don't have refrigeration. Yeah, and did we have some good food today? We have really good food. Good, so we made eggs and we... Uh, we made scrambled eggs, hard-boiled eggs, and... Yeah, and we had a little little bacon and some bread to go with it, and uh, that was just a bonus. And you get to take a dozen, uh, half, half a dozen, dozen eggs, eggs home. home, so you can't beat that. No. So the price of your class basically bought the eggs, and mm -hmm. you got all the information for free. Um, you've taken a couple of the classes here in the series, right? Yes, I have. Mm -hmm. I took the potatoes and also this egg class. And the egg class. So and what, what did you think about this series this year? I really loved it. I was so happy when I saw it in the bulletin, and I thought it was such a great idea to get people cooking. And there's kids cooking classes all the time, but I wanted, right. I was so happy to see stuff for adults, and I really hope it continues. Good. And, th and these were kind of really simple, just how to make a how to make mashed potatoes, how Basic. to make scrambled eggs. But some of the things I think are missing from people that that don't have those base experiences, probably. So definitely, I learned a yeah. lot of new tips and tricks that I didn't necessarily know about, which really will help enhance my cooking in the future, which I'm very, very happy about. So good. you did a really good job of explaining <laughs> different techniques and, and giving us a lot of history of things. So that really, good. really enhanced the whole class. I like that a lot. I'm John Keister, and this has been our All About Eggs program. Uh, thank you for joining us. Again, Vulcany Heritage Farm, we're open from 9 to 2 during the week and 10 to 4 on the weekends. Thank you very much. Yeah.